Layer 2 protocols scaling the Ethereum blockchain are set to benefit from significantly reduced roll-up costs when the Denkun hard fork hits mainnet. Still, end users might not reap the full benefit immediately. Um, Polygon Labs VP of product to David Silverman tells CryptoMoon that Ethereum's latest hard fork, which features several improvement proposals, will take a few weeks to fully implement by roll-up through wide and, you know, the Denkun hard fork incorporates a total of nine different EIPs. Uh, the name of the upgrade is, you know, a combination of the Cancun upgrade of Ethereum's execution layer and the DNEV upgrade on the consensus layer. And, and uh, Silverman explains that a major focal point of the hard fork is EIP 4844, which changes how Ethereum rollups store data on mainnet. Several layer two rollups aggregate and process transaction off chain and submit a summary proof of these transactions to the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and, you know, if there's only one type of storage in Ethereum currently, it's called all data storage on the execution layer. It's permanent, meaning if I post something, you know, whether it's the image for an NFT uh, or, or transaction data for a rollup, all Ethereum nodes must store that state forever, Silverman explains. And uh, EIP 4844 uh, creates a new way for rollups to add cheaper data to blocks by introducing the blob space. Uh, using call data for storage is expensive because all Ethereum nodes must process the data that lives on chain indefinitely. Uh, proto dank sharding named after the researchers who proposed EIP 4844 allows rollups to send and attach data blobs to blocks. Uh, the data is not accessible to the Ethereum virtual machine and is deleted uh, automatically after a fixed period of time, estimated to be 18 days. Uh, Silverman explains, and Silverman adds that because the blobs are stored temporarily, they're drastically cheaper for rollups and allow for the same security guarantees. Uh, pro dank sharding has been uh, a hot topic in the Ethereum community, uh, given its impact on the cost of roll-up data storage in the future. Uh, various Layer 2 developers have touted roll-up in cost to be reduced by 10 to 50 times, uh, but Silverman said the true impact uh, will only uh, be realized once named Coon hits the mainnet. Uh, and the Polygon Labs Vice President of Product notes that the impact will not be immediate and the Denkun hard fork is scheduled for March 13th, after which rollups will have to do their own updates before taking advantage of been storage space. Uh, Silverman says uh, that Polygon has been working hard to expedite its own implementation of EIP 4844. At the same time, conversations with counterparts at uh, Optimism, Zsync, and Arbitrum indicate that L2s are eager to take advantage of the hard fork as quickly as possible. Uh, and Dan Kuhn also represents the realization of Ethereum shift, sort of a layer two centric scaling approach. Silverman says Ethereum is looking to slow down and ossify its core components while leaving innovation and user level focus to L2s. Uh, this is an Ethereum roadmap item that says, as opposed to the base chain being responsible for scaling, rollups are really where the future is. We're gonna make changes uh, to make them cheaper and more attractive to users and be um, the standard bear uh, for Ethereum, Silverman said. Uh, major roll-up players have even begun to coordinate among themselves with the formation of roll call where these layer twos meet, uh, discuss and produce improvement proposals. Um, these are changes that will only ever be on L2. Changes to the EVM that are not coming to mainnet Ethereum, things like new forms of account abstraction, new precompiles, new opcodes, Silverman adds, and Denkum might not immediately impact roll-up costs, but Silverman does expect some fanfare when the hard fork is finalized. Silverman said, we're going as the staggered implementation of EIP 4844 by roll-ups occurs, the ecosystem will begin to see the true impact of proto dent sharding. Silverman also believes that the more L2s joining the blob space will gradually lessen the impact of its cost reduction.